Good morning, everybody, and welcome to LaveCon 2018. <laughs> it's so nice to see so many of you here, and thank you very much for buying me a lot of free beer last night, which probably explains why my voice is so low. So, we will just go through. We have our esteemed... Uh, yes. yes. Couldn't hear me last night in the Bloomer stream, but... Less said about that, the better. So we have our full panel here. Unfortunately, uh, Commander Foz can't be with us uh, due to family issues, but we've managed to get everybody else. So uh, we will start at the far end. We have Commander Ben Adley-Weiss. Don't think my, oh no, my microphone is now working. <laughs> but yeah, hi. <laughs> Turn it off. You, yeah. Quickly, <laughs> I might say something silly again. The disembodied voice you hear is, is Commander Sayuko Kao, hidden in the back room, where it's probably best that he does. <laughs> watch my mic cut out. <laughs> How do we watch your mic cut out? <laughs> <laughs> With difficulty. We have Dr. Toxic, our end. Good morning. <laughs> it's a school. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> we have Commander Stabler. Hello. Yeah, don't shout <coughs> too much. I'm hungover, okay? <laughs> <laughs> too much VR last night, ninjas. Yeah, ninja and drunk. So. <laughs> we have Chris Jarvis, Commander Thane himself. Hello, everybody. Uh, so what people can't see who's following the stream, everyone in the room can see this, but we have this terrifying array of cameras down the front of this panel. I feel like I'm being mo-capped for something. And I'm just trying to work out, I'm not sure if there's any, are there any, are there any blind spots? <laughs> along the cameras. I'm not sure if there's like a safe zone anywhere. <laughs> um, yeah, I also had a late night. I was demoing the uh, the, the brilliant Elite Battle Cards game. Um, I'm not sure if Ben and I managed the longest, un you know, game of Battle Cards. It definitely felt like it. Um, that, that, hang on, that does not sound like a good thing. No, 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 it was a really good thing. It was a really good thing. Put it down to Ben's ability to regenerate lots of damage and my ability to roll lots of ones and twos. <laughs> Next up, we have Commander Shan. Hi, Ed everyone. Edge control. <laughs> yeah, hi, everyone. I wasn't up too late last night because I was sensible. I went to bed early at 11 ish. <laughs> but, <laughs> lesson do not have four cups of coffee before you go to bed because otherwise you will not get any sleep. At all. <laughs> You've got to make it at least six. Okay. Useful safety tip for you all. Thank you. <laughs> Shouldn't I be giving that, Colin? <laughs> and Shan also got up at six in the morning and has already been to Asda. Oh, I hate these early morning people. Um, okay, and finally we have Commander Stroud. Hi, right. Okay, so I win in terms of the uh, up late and martyrdom stakes, because <laughs> I was still working till 12, and then I went home and medicated the cat. It is half past still, one. still not a euphemism. Did, did, did it want to be medicated? And then I got up at six, and then I got ready, and then I came back in having medicated the cat and drove back up. So did it I win. Um, is there a prize? No, no. Tidying up no, no prize, you've gone to bed. No prize. The Tiny prize is a medicated cat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tiny violin to Dr. Stroud. Tiny yeah. violin to Dr. Stroud. Did it actually want to be medicated, or did you sort of just catch it and stab it? <laughs> it, 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 it just, it's a long story. Let's just say it does. <laughs> well, so we're, uh, we're just going to quickly go through some of the things that will be available. Uh, I'm sorry, all of a sudden I can see a Muppet in the back. <laughs> I can see more than one. <laughs> <laughs> There's a few up here. It's, it's amazing the, what, what, the people that turn up here. It's, it's great. So, of course, LaveCon this year, is, and you can see the logo at the bottom there, we are sponsored this year by Spider-Man Games. Uh, those are the... Give them all a round of applause. You will, find, you will find battle cards and you will find uh, sessions of the EDRPG run this afternoon uh, and during the day down at the games room. So uh, you're, you're welcome to sign up for that. Uh, we also have uh, a cryptic location search. You know about the cryptic location search? Yeah, yeah. Where, where's that Which, happening? Which plane's doing it? Oh, here we go. <laughs> I'll be running all weekend. Okay, so... Oh, okay, we've got extra mugs and, For extra, the mug. and extra stickers. Mug! For the mug! Oh. Yeah. Okay, let's get it out of the way. Hello, the hunting truckers. For the mug. 
Hutton Trucker! There we go. Is, is anybody here not a Hutton Trucker? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You're my friend. So it's fine. Does anyone okay. feel like we've lost the market share of this? Uh... <laughs> I feel like I've been involved. Do we have any fuel rats? Yeah, fuel rats. Hello, fuel rats. Do we have any buckyballers? A couple of them. <laughs> Do we have any Xboxes or Pixel Bandits? <laughs> <laughs> Any wing two stars? Now, now. <laughs> I was drinking illicit stills with them at stupid o'clock last night as well, I think. I, haven't we finished confession? No. 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 Oh, oh, okay. You haven't got your priest uniform on this year. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. We also have uh, the fantastic... Acro- oh, I can't even pronounce this anymore. Abracadrabble? That's the one. <laughs> Abracadrabble. Yes. What's a so, drabble? What is a drabble? <laughs> Story in 100 words. Story in 100 words, competition. Make your, give your entries over to Commander Psycho Cow. He will try his best at um, <laughs> presenting them for you. So um, the, I think the theme this weekend is packed, if I remember rightly. Um, also, just to, just to plug this, um, what we've done is we've, uh, we've made sure that the Creative Writing Workshop on the Sunday is before the deadline for the Drabbles. So... <laughs> you can come to the creative writing workshop and I will edit your drabble for you. <laughs> and then you can submit it if you want to. <laughs> I'm sure they want their drabbles to win this year. Oh, yeah, well. Hey, hey. Oh. Less of that. I've won I've, that. I've, I've won Abrica Drabble, thank you. I've, I've been edited by Alan before. Sorry. Do take a deep breath. <laughs> or, at least, or at least just submit the usual smut and bad puns and everything will be fine. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, so, what else we've got? Well, we, we do have buckyball races set up in the land room. John Stabler is in charge of the land room, so uh, uh, if you'd like to sign up there. Uh, we've also got lots of games that are happening in the, the land room, as, as we discovered last, last night. We also have a full VR set up in one of the other rooms, so if you want to try out the Vive, uh, and uh, a couple of ocular, Oculus Rifts, then uh, you're, you're quite welcome to. Uh, um, let's see. Uh, the program is down, uh, downloadable at uh, HWC events. Uh, and also, every hour, we've got uh, an Artemis game running. Yeah, yeah, the Artemis rooms are, uh, are up and set. Um, the Outside the Artemis rooms, and it's not working yet, and it will be in a minute, because I'll go up there and kick it, is uh, we've also brought the Phoenix Point demo, which is the backer build so that you can you can try it if you've not had a chance to have a look at the game that uh, uh, that I'm working on with Kev, um, and we'll be doing a, a talk about that tomorrow. But um, yeah, it should be outside the Artemis room for you to be able to play it. So it's a turn-based tactical shooter, uh, a bit like XCOM. So uh, give you a chance to, to have a bit of a go at the the sample levels that we've got. Okay, uh, and touch other things we can sign up for. We've got the audio workshop with Chris Jarvis. For the mic. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was really, that was really good. I like that. that really good. Um, yeah. So uh, I'm going to be doing. Um, I think time's actually moved slightly. Has it? Someone told me it moved. Yeah, nine thirty. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's you versus me. Yeah, it's right. yeah, me versus Alan. Um, so yeah, basically doing an audio drama workshop. I've got kind of my recording gear that I use to create things like Escape Velocity and Lave Evolution, Chaos Reborn, those kind of dramas. Um, and I've, so I've brought some of that kit along. I'm going to be doing kind of a demonstration of how you record in less than ideal circumstances um, with, you know, with the room space. And I think also, I believe there'll be some scripts coming along because I think people have brought some adverts for Lave Radio slash Hutton Truckers, um, which we will be... Yeah, uh, which I think we'll be attempting to record in the workshop. So we'll see how that works out. <laughs> um, but it'll basically just be about some sort of you know, basic recording techniques, microphone technique, post-production techniques, all those interesting things. Uh, so if you'd like to know more about that, do sign up for that. Um, and in terms of sign-ups, there's also... I feel a bit weird with this one. Someone suggested it to me, and I was like, oh, yeah, I like that, because I like playing games with people. But it does feel a bit like, I want people to come and play a game with me, sign up. I will be... I, I'm going to be buzzing around at various points this weekend when I'm not doing other things, trying to encourage people to break open various board games and give them a try. Um, but I am also, on Sunday, I think there's an, there's an opportunity to sit down and play a game with me. Which... Sounds weird. Sounds weird. Um, but if you want to do that, I'll be there. It's fine. Um, what's that? 
<laughs> Something like that. Um, so yeah, there you go. Um, so yeah, so there's there's a few things in that, and I think um, something that you know we we probably should should sort of big up and point out. One of the things about this weekend, and it certainly started yesterday. One of the things about this weekend is getting to know different people, and board games are a really, really good way of just getting around a group of people and getting to know them. So uh, we do bring a lot of games up. They are here and available for you to play. Even if you find one of my games that I have not yet played and is still in cellophane wrappers, <laughs> just unwrap it, okay? I don't mind, and, um, and do, do just play it. And I do just want to plug one more thing. I'm only plugging it because it requires a little bit of explanation. So there is a thing at um, 6 o'clock called Untold Adventures Await. It's in the main room. Uh, it is a game. It's a game I've brought, which is basically a storytelling and role-playing system. Uh, and I've had a lot of fun with it, with people, basically getting people to you know, story, just create stories kind of thing. And what I thought I'd do, because I'm obviously doing the Escape Velocity thing, is that Untold Adventures Await is actually going to be a kind of episode of Escape Velocity, um, I've got uh, some volunteers who are going to be joining in with me. But what we'll be doing is actually setting up the game on here and playing it. We'll be creating an episode of Escape Velocity, which you, you know, which will be hopefully really good fun. Um, and but that is also a game. So if if after you've seen it, people want to see how it works or talk to me about it uh, or try it for themselves, um, and I will just say, you know, that it's it's a game I've played with all kinds of different people. It's also a game that I've managed to play on my own and used it to write an episode of Escape Velocity, which will be in series four. So it's, it's, it's not a, you know, it's not a close, it's a very good flexible system. So do come along and check that out. That's uh, six o'clock. Cool. Um, I'm going to be playing Mansions of Madness late tonight as well. If nobody's, if anyone's not played that, it's awesome. Uh, it's up to five players and uh, basically you play, most of the game's done on, on a pad or a phone, but the, the board game matches the pad and the phone, and it's really, really good. It's the best of, of those kind of fantasy flight Cthulhu games, I think, um, in terms of what's there. So, yeah, we're going to be doing games. We're going to be doing other bits and pieces as much as we can this weekend. And obviously, we have Spider Mind Games playing battle cards and, uh, uh, and EDRPG. So, you know, it, uh, it's, it's really, you know, hopefully this year is very tactile. That's, that's not a... Not an invitation. Le 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 Sorry. Oh. Yeah, I, 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 I've, I've obviously just yeah yeah I'm promising things. Oh yeah, so we should we should talk Labour Revolution, shouldn't we? A little bit. We're going to talk more about it, um, yeah. which um, which I think would be be great. So this weekend we have a preview of the audio drama, which it's taken us a long time, but we are within how how what's your ETA? Uh, a week? We, 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 have, we haven't, well, no, because the problem is, originally I was going to have it finished for uh, LaveCon, and then I was going to go on a nice big holiday. Um, I haven't got it finished in time for LaveCon, and I'm still going on holiday, so... <laughs> <laughs> um, it's going to be... See what I have to work with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be... I, I, I think we're, we're sort of spitballing first week of July, weren't we, just to make yeah. sure that it's, we've got time to actually... Because I suddenly realised it's not a case of just finishing the drama and putting it out. I've got, like, 250 USB cards to actually copy the data onto. Right. That's going to take a while. So, um, yeah... Uh, but that will be out early July. You can. There is a stand. Uh, my wife is sitting there at various points over this weekend. Uh, you'll see a little poster for Lave Revolution and Escape Velocity. You can talk to her. You can pre-order Lave Revolution. You can support Escape Velocity. You can see the funky USB cards that I've got. Um, but I will say that 10.30 tonight... So 9.30, we've got the author readings. Yep. And then 10.30, sort of after that, yeah, I'll be pretty. playing a long... There's about, it's about 18 minutes or so of Lave Revolution. Uh, so, because obviously I've played, a, you know, a very small clip that we played over and over. If you want to hear that clip go on for a bit and hear a bit more, uh, there is an opportunity tonight. So yeah, so um, this this <laughs> was the last reward on my Kickstarter <laughs> that I needed to fulfil, and it's taken us an awful long time. But I have said every year, I have said we will do them, we will get them all done, and uh, yeah, thankfully, thanks to Chris, we are we are finally within spitting distance. Of, uh, of having that finished. So um, all the backers who, who are on there will obviously will get uh, a copy which I'll send across as well. So yeah, so look forward to that and hopefully you guys will enjoy it this evening. And do have a look at the USB cards because they're really nice. And we got, um, just before that, we got author readings from uh, myself, from Darren Gray, um, who's, who's here somewhere, somewhere, where's he? There, there he's, he he's over there. And from Kevin Elliott. So the three of us will be uh, doing a small excerpt from three things we're working on. Uh, for you to for you to have a uh, listen to. So and of course it has to be mentioned after after all this culture and all this highbrow lit uh, literal uh, 
uh, <laughs> presentations. We do have dockers at midnight. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that brings us to the end of this little bit here. We have Grant coming up with his uh, 3D demo uh, his virtual demonstration at, at 10.30. Uh, for, so from Prawns here, thanks for, for turning up. Thanks and, obviously to Spider-Man Games. And Live Radio Live tomorrow, obviously. Well, for you lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Like that, is it? Did I miss you saying what time Frontier are here at? Oh, of course. We have that, at two o'clock. That's what the I thing, that's the thing that it? nothing else is happening alongside. <laughs> so if you find yourself in a room alone, it's because everyone else is, is in here listening to Frontier. <laughs> yeah, so the Frontier Q&A panel is at two. Um, there will then be the the annual photograph outside the front of the hotel at 3.30, and then we have Conclave after that. So um, I'll be looking, if people have volunteered for Conclave, I'll be looking to talk to you um, at, the, at the photograph, and then we can basically coordinate and organize and, uh, and sort out what we're doing. Excellent. So um, we'll take a small break, and Grant will take over for his section. Uh, thanks for everybody for turning up. And welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, no, I'm going to panel room two. Oh, yeah, that's the end. I should have had that, didn't I?